AFT, we've got Lee Judge. It's surprised he came on here because he, he moves around with royalty now, you know what I mean? So <laughs> Kevin Campbell over there and stuff like that, right? But, um, you know, and funny enough, Kevin, you said before the game 3-1, didn't you? I did. I did say 3-1. I know usually we, they were there for the taking today, but with our defence, we can't keep clean sheets. So that's why I said 3-1. And the defence again today was a bit ropey. Uh, is it just because of the problems that we're having with injuries, Lee? Because... At the end of the day, I felt a bit sorry for Emery today. He even had to, he had a makeshift there in Montreal as a centre back. Then he comes off. He has to put Xhaka in there. He's, he's really having to get really desperate with trying to, you know, the way he's trying to like put the well, defence together at the moment, isn't it? We nick, we we um, nicknamed them the Keystone Cops defending. Like, you know what I mean, <laughs> it's absolutely, you know, to be to be fair, we've had to change it around again. I think, you know. When you look at it, Monreal's got injured again today, we, we keep losing players, but our defending is not good enough. But, and that's why we're saying 2 1, 3 1 before the game. Um, I've just been listening to everything there today. You know, keep going on about Ozil, keep going on about Wave. But it's nothing to do, it's, it's about the team, Robbie. It's a, it's a team game, it's about what, what that, we've got the result today. So, why are people arguing about this and about that? Mm. You know, Ozil today, you know. I, I see the argument on both sides. Absolutely wonderful pass today. Mm. Absolutely, you know, there ain't no hardly anybody that can do that in the in the in the league. Um, but then we're playing, and, and people will say, "Oh, it's only Burnley." Did he really dominate after that? No. But you know, that's what he's there to do. Mm. You know, and, and look, great decision from memory today because we were saying probably bring on Ramsey, brought on a Wobie, mm. and he, he he turned up with a goal. You know, so you know, from my point of view. I think Emery's got it tough at the moment with the defending. He and, has got it very, very tough very because, tough. you know, I mean, the defenders are dropping like flies. Uh, yeah, exactly. And th th this is where the Ozil debate comes in. When you're not probably at your strength defensively, you've got to have the midfield players shutting down and working as well. Away from home, when you've got a dodgy back three or back four, you've got to have protection in front of it. And yeah. Ozil's not going to be one to protect us. That's nothing against him. So for the next two games, you know, I, I wouldn't play him. I'd we play him against Brighton. No, no, because uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I, 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 we are defensively vulnerable. You know, Burnley have scored here today, so we're going to be up against it uh, in, the, in those two games. The possession count is not going to be as much. We've got to make. Listen, if, when you've got players like Lacazette and Abemyang in the team, you make sure it's tight at the back, tight in midfield, and let them nick a goal. I don't give a monkey's. We go at Brighton and win one nil, and. Uh, and then go go to Liverpool and we just shut up the shop and hope for something. But with those two games, you know, I wouldn't play Ozil. You know, well, but what about playing a system that, you know, you say to Ozil, you go and play, and then behind him, it's, that's where it's all. You know, you shut it down behind him. Uh, great, we could because do that. Because even against Liverpool, you still need someone to create the chances for yeah. your Lacazette and Aubameyang, don't you? Exactly. If we, and I, I totally agree with that. If we've got everybody fit and available, but we haven't. We haven't going to, we're not going to have Bellerin, Mustafi's not going to be there, Monreal's not going to be there, you know. So realistically, you, you, you're going to have to play Shaka in there. And, and to be honest, we need to protect that. Mm. You know, we need to protect that. It ain't about, you know, creating all the time. We only need to create one or two, two opportunities. Mm. Now, at the end of the day, when we haven't got the ball, we watched it today, Ozil pulls out of tackles. He does, you know what I mean? That's, that's what he does do, mm. you know? So we can't afford that against in, away from home. We've got to be digging in, making tackles. And if that means that we've got players that are not so glamorous as him, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Do you keep him at the club? There's been lots of rumours about him going out on loan and stuff like that. Would you? I think it's a real difficult question, you know? You get Isco, <laughs> let's just say scenario, you could get Isco, bye right? Bye-bye Mesut. Mesut Ozil goes the other way to Real Madrid yeah, I'll take that. and a lump of money plus Cisco. Would yeah, you do I, that? I would do that, yeah. i will do that because, do you know what? Of all the talent that he's got in the world, and I think he's a wonderful, wonderful footballer, I don't think the Premier League and the physicalities of it suit him. I don't. You know, he's been there a long time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but how it, long has he been there now? You, I mean, you've well, got, surely he should be used to it by now. We are, it's, well, well, he obviously isn't, is he? You know what I mean? We've got a new manager coming that set, set the bar. bar. He's, he's changing things. And he is, he's actually saying, you know, I don't trust, you know, he didn't trust Meza Ozil in a Caribou Cup game against Tottenham. That tells you everything, Robbie. Tells you everything, you know, he's not trusting him against Spurs. So he's not going to trust him at Liverpool, surely. Can't do it, you know. And, and You from, can't have a player on that sort of money that you can't trust, can well, you? it's not his signing, is it? He didn't sign him, you know what I mean? 
the, the fit, but he's, he's been brought in to work with him, right, now, yeah, he's, he's like head coach. You so you, you still got to work with what you've got. He's got to find a way right, yeah. to play him, isn't he? Right, so he finds it. Right, so we're 2 2 at Southampton, right? Yeah, 2 2 at Southampton. Mesut, go on there and win us the game. He didn't. He didn't in fact, he, he, he contributed to the, to the defeat. Now, you know, you're saying that try and find a way for Emery. Emery's got, he hasn't got the, the time that Wenger's got. You know, he, he, he's, he's accountable for, for every, everything that goes wrong at this club now. He's accountable. And, it, you know, it, it, he will lose his job if he don't get it right. He's not worried about how much money he's on. You know, and I think at the end of the day, you know, look, listen, if we go up to, uh, sorry, down to Brighton, up to Liverpool and get four points, right, and Meza Ozil's not in the side, that's good. That's good managing or whatever. But if we go to Brighton and we go to Liverpool and we get stuffed both times, right, and Meza Ozil's play, people are going to turn around and have a go at Emery. You've got to be really, really careful about this. You know, it's not about Meza Ozil. It's certainly not about uh, Alex Awobi or it's not about Aaron Ramsey. It's about the team. Mm. It's about getting three points. Now, today, I think it was the right decision to bring Meza Ozil in because we're at home. We need to create something. Look, listen, they played Spurs the other week. Right, and Spurs broke them down in the 92nd minute. We broke them down in the 15th minute because of a bit of Meza Ozil magic, mm. and that's what we can do. But the, the game, don't matter what anybody says, is different when you're at home till it is away from home. They're different games, you know. Mm. So different, different tactics, different players are going to be needed. Now, at the end of the day, if the manager turns around and says, "I don't need Meza Ozil for those two games, and I'm going to play in workers and whatever," then fine. When we played Bournemouth a few weeks ago, 10 minutes to go from the end, we're 2-1 up flagging, he brings Aaron Ramsey on and he works, 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 works really hard and we get the result. Mm. Good managing. You know what I mean? He didn't trust Meza Ozil to do that last 10 minutes. Mm. You know, and that's what you have to say. Now, forget about all the money. Now, that's not Emery's decision to put him on 350 grand a week and it's not, it's not ours. And I don't give a monkey's if he's on whatever he's on. As long as he gets out there and does the business on a Saturday, week in, week out, mm. I'm happy. I, I, you know, you got Kalechi there. You know, he's happy that Elwobi's come on and scored. I don't, I don't give a monkey's if he. Uh, all I care about is that we're three points today, and that's what it is. You know, mm. and fans. Can we get? We've got two games coming up. How are you feeling about it? Confident we can get results at both of those places? Well, I'm going on the lash up in Liverpool. I'll tell you that now. Like, I'm, really on, I'm, I'm going to that game drunk. It's half past five. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be passed out by half time. But there's uh, a shout out to you. So, like, no, seriously, seriously we've got. I, I, listen, I'll bite your hands off now. I don't, I don't, I'll be honest. If we can take four points from our next two games, I'll bite everybody's hand. If we can get three points at Brighton and. Um, and a point at Liverpool, I'll be more than happy. More than happy. Right, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a happy Christmas. And uh, um, don't drink too much. Eh? Don't drink too much. No, no, you don't drink too much. Especially at Liverpool. <laughs>